Hi, this is Bob. I found out something interesting here today. You're looking at the underside of a Heathkit SB104 radio or a HW104. This is actually a HW104. The only difference between the HW104 and the SB104 is the SB104 has another board in it and that board is for the digital readout which mounts in this these slots right here. Uh, the HW104 has a analog plast a plastic analog dial. I like that much better than the digital readout because digital readouts can generate noise. The HW104 has a much quieter receiver. But what I'm talking about today is something that gave me a lot of uh, headaches. Uh, the microphones that are available for these, you can't get the ceramic microphones anymore like the Turner 350 and you can't get uh, crystal microphones for them anymore. But uh, what you do find often are microphones like this. Now this came off of a CB set I bought at a garage sale and it is a uh, a electric condenser microphone and it says right on the back here 1000 ohms impedance made in Thailand uh, this came off of a Cobra CB set it had the four pin plug already on it and I as I recall I don't think I had to do anything to it it matched up with the uh, wiring of the four pin plug here now a lot of these HW104s and SB104s had a two pin plug on them originally but but when I got this one at a ham fest it had the four pin plug on it so anyways the trouble that you run into with putting these microphones in is you have to supply power to that condenser electric electret cartridge and you actually want about a 27k resistor. I've got two 15k resistors in series here to get close to 27k uh, and it works just fine but just a single 27k resistor would be what you would need and I've got two little capacitors in parallel here to get a 0.1 microfarad at 50 volts. Now this is this is the uh, coax number 11 that goes to the uh, goes to the microphone jack up front. Now the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I spent hours and hours and hours figuring out how to make this work properly on this type of radio on the SB104 and HW104. The problem I ran into was distortion in the audio. I mean bad distortion. And what I found was eventually about two days ago I looked at the back of the microphone and it says 1000 ohms impedance and I looked at the circuit that Heathkit had designed for this radio and that was designed for a ceramic high output microphone the Turner 350 and I don't know if you can see that on there yes you can right there and you see there's 120k resistors there before it goes into IC201A and there's a 22k resistor to ground on pin 16 which is your microphone input right there from the microphone plug so what you have to do is you have to clip that coax off right there on pin 16 put those two coupling capacitors in there and then tie that resistor in and here is the schematic on how to do that I'll hold this up here for a while so you can see it that's how you wire it in just like that and I'll tell you that works really good and the audio is just clean and clear but before I figured out putting that 1k resistor to ground on pin 16 so that the microphone saw 1000 ohms impedance that's what it's made for I had terrible sounding audio I mean it was just all muffled and mushy and I couldn't quite figure it out I went round and round and round and then all of a sudden, like I say, two days ago, I was uh, working on it and I thought, hey, this is a 1000 ohm impedance microphone and it's feeding into a very high impedance input circuit. So I just put a 1K resistor to ground and I thought, it can't be that simple. Well, it was. Boy, has it got good audio now with that microphone, with a condenser electric microphone. So I highly recommend that. And I'm sure this circuit would work on many other radios too but you need to put that 1k resistor to ground 
to get a proper load for the microphone. So anyways, I just wanted to, uh, to show you that and, uh, and how well it works and, and how to put it in there because I think that's uh, a good thing and, and there's many radios that I have here that I can use this. Uh, well, I got a, two or three of them. But anyways, I can use this uh, electric type microphone. And like I say, I picked this one up at a garage sale. It was on a CB radio. And I, I sometimes do that. I'll go to a garage sale and I'll see a nice microphone on a CB radio. And hey, where can you get a microphone for two dollars? You know, so I bought the CB. Anyhow, that's what I've been doing here. And I just wanted to show you guys how to do that on the Heathkit SB104 and HW104. And I'm sure it will work on a lot of the other radios too. Like the SB102 and the SB101 and the HW101. So that's it, guys. And uh, it's winter time here, snowing today. Got four inches on the ground. So I uh, just wanted to show you this, uh, what I had found out. It was really surprising to me, and I'm real happy to have finally figured this out. Sometimes it's a really simple, simple thing uh, that makes things work, and uh, that's great. So right now, uh, that's it. 73s and good DX. Thank <laughs> you.